Welcome back everyone. Uh, it's good to be sitting down to do a video. I have been quite busy uh, with uh, home things as well as receiving some new supplies in the mail as well as doing some original art. I had been doing uh, adult coloring pages consistently and just decided to break away for a moment and my granddaughter's birthday, my children's birthday came up uh, this month so have been very busy with their parties and gifts and just preparation for all of that and one of the original art pieces that I have done is for my granddaughter and so I'm going to show you that I have made smaller clips of some swatches from new supplies and the original art so I'll be splicing a few videos together where I was able to set aside some time to do those but this will be my introduction into the video as a whole and hopefully you like some of the things that I've accomplished in the last couple of weeks and I'm moving forward with my adult coloring for the rest of the month. I probably won't have too much more original art this month so that I can do my coloring pages with my new supplies and you'll see some of it is here just for me to be able to reach easily. And so where do I want to start? I think I'll start with the supply haul. And so if that interests you and then um, the original art or other things that I've been working on, if you're solely interested in adult coloring, that will be more towards the end. So you may choose to fast forward that part or not watch that part. Uh, I want to be able to give you the freedom to choose that for yourself. So why don't we go ahead and get started with some watercolor that I purchased. I wanted to try out the Maya watercolor tube set. There's 36 12 mls. And I'll just give you a quick peek at them. So they're it's a quite pretty set as you'll see. Lots of nice colors. I do have an opinion on these that maybe I will share at the end. I do a little bit in my video clip. Somehow I knew this would happen. <laughs> Try to get them back in there. I don't. I will not keep these in this, but for the sake of the video, I figured I would at least show you the packaging. Um, so I have done a watercolor swatch on watercolor paper. And this set was $18.19 for the 36. And here I'll just bring you in a little closer to the swatches. What I did is I went half of these is full color and then I added more water to get to the right side where you get some lighter colors and some effects going on here. And there's white here as well so and I went to go name all of them and then somehow I don't know I got mixed up on two of them but anyway made that correction so that's what these look like I guess I made as might as well include now since I'm talking to you and maybe just clip it out of my other clip but the tubes when I'm swatching the color when I'm putting them in the palette they wind up being like very oozy and not full color saturation the fluid inside the watercolor was like coming out before the opaqueness of the color was so it was a little bit frustrating and i am going to wind up uh, speeding through the both the swatches if you don't mind because it, it took a while um to do but having some of that frustration is one of the reasons I want to do it because I would just wind up either getting like a splat of too much of the color and uh, when I was stirring it with my brush like it was clumping on the brush anyway so I haven't had that experience with other tube paints 
So I just wanted to put that out there. They are pretty colors, but the tubes for this kit were less than desirable, I, I would say, the content of what was in them. So I will still use them. They're, they're definitely usable, uh, just more messy. So I'll put this to the side.
up was the uh, Tombow Arajatin set, the 90 colored pencils. They have, the pencils are in books and let me just show you here. That's how they come. And so like on this, you have cedarwood, cinnamon, oil, yellow, sage, green, verdigris, uh, hummingbird, jaybird, hydrangea blue, heather, titerian, purple, excuse me. And this is 10 pencils, volume nine, in a dull tone. And you have these, let's see, oops, I put that in upside down. So we have seven, eight, nine, you have your dull tone, very pale tone, and then the fluorescence. Those are very pretty fluorescents. I have a couple of fluorescent pencils, but I definitely did not have a 10 of them for sure. So you have that, and then this one here is the light grayish tone, deep tone two, pale tone two, and this is the pale tone one, vivid tone one, deep tone one. And as I put those to the side, I will bring out my Ruby Charm Colors Big Book of Color Charts so that I can show you. This is all of them swatched. Let me see. I'm looking at the camera to see what you can see. But here you have the vivid tones, the deep tones, the pale tones, the pastel -y ones, as well as here, and this is the Woodlands set, the fluorescents, excuse me, let me come down, uh, the very pale tones. You see they are paler than these and the dull tone and the light grayish tone. So you have a, a, gray, a gray hue to all of these. And what I will say is I, I have used these uh, so far in some coloring already. I do like them. One of my reasons for purchasing them besides being a collector of adult coloring supplies I have cases for most of my pencils. I don't use them in the original art box except for the Artex because that's a cute box, but I'm even thinking I might put that also into a case. But I thought it was really neat to have these in boxes. It's aesthetically pleasing. Um, they're nice to use. They're pretty pencils. Um, but I think if I were going to use them quite a bit, I would take them out of these pretty boxes and put them in a case. And I think you pay for the packaging in this set. They're not uh, super inexpensive. They're nice because, you know, you could line them up uh, on a shelf. They can be part, you know, of decor. They match mine, in fact, because my walls are a lighter tone of this. And I have quite a bit of light pink in here too, so. It will look cute, but whether or not I will choose these over Prismacolors, Polychromos, or any of the other pencils that I have remains to be seen. So in a future video, I think what I'll do is see how many times I went back to these versus my other pencils and see what happens. So, but I do like the packaging. I think it's a really cute idea. I just don't know how practical it is to have them in these boxes. Um, and the band here, when you put the band on, sometimes you, you, well, you have to make sure that it's on the right way as these things go because it has trouble fitting. You got to shove it in there. So there's that. That's that's my opinion on that, um, just so that you know. And 
think we'll we'll move on from these. Like I said, aesthetically is pleasing, nice, cute. Whether or not I will choose them, use them more than others, we will find out. Okay. So the next thing I think I want to do based on Oh, I lost my tab. By the way, I show you I have I'm starting to swatch more in these. These are the Tombow dual brush pens that I have swatched in here. Um, now I need to find, oh, it will be easy. I know why. Because I had to go to the back to create the next supply that I got. Has not. This book was printed before it came out. So here we go. Let me just have that ready here while I show you. These 72 Indra Creative limited edition pastel set. So this is the box that they come in. You have your trays. These are the colors that you get. And I have put them in one of these cases. And here they are. They all fit very nicely in this case. I th I think they're they're gorgeous. They're they're nice to look at. Speaking of aesthetically pleasing, I like the black on the tip and on the bottom, and you have a silver in between. They are numbered, and they they are they're very very pretty. What I will say is that I don't feel they're all pastel, true pastel colors without hitting my tripod too much and shaking you around. <clears throat> what I want to say is that it feels like, for instance, this number 36, that that's more on a fluorescent end. This is a darker purple and this is a kind of fluorescent-ish this is as well. So I, I wouldn't say specifically that there are for sure 72, but you're still getting more than the macaroon set. And let me just pull. I also have the Uli set of pastels in this container and I forget how many were in here now perhaps I should have counted but anyway um, I don't think Uli is in this chart system if it is I will add them to it but let's just take a gander even this one is kind of a, a fluorescent uh, color so I think with the pastel sets, I don't think you're ever going to get just just strictly pastels. I think they always wind up including some bolder colors or more on the fluorescent end, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So <clears throat> now I have these, the macaroons, the, the ulis um, to choose from. And I am happy for that because there are sets of pencils that don't have the light pastel equivalent. So I know that I will pull from some of these to complete my other sets in a coloring page or I'll just strictly, I might even strictly do a book of pastel colorings. I don't know which book I'll choose. Maybe you could make some suggestions in the comments, but I was thinking of maybe doing that. So, so that is the Indra. And let me just put these back on my shelf. And I'll show you these one more time, in case you want to see that. And I'll put that to the side too. And then the next thing that I'm going to show you is the Arteza Ink Onic Pens, the 120 set. They're 0.4 millimeter line triangular barrel water-based ink. And so they come like this in the plastic tray came a little damaged. Um, I knew that I wasn't going to keep them in here anyway. But that's how they come. 
so that you can recognize them. There's quite a few coloring pages that I find that I'm just missing a fine tip point and needing a variety of colors. And so I held off for a really long time. I did have some uh, Stabilo fine liners, but not a broad enough range for definitely not 120. So now that I have gotten these, I've also put these in this case, which is like a, a blue jean material with flowers on it. And here are all of the colors. Now, these are not easy to get in and out. So I'm not sure I can keep them in this particular case, but you know, they are super fine point triangular barrel. And I did swatch just a few. I didn't 120 swatches after doing the other stuff. wasn't wasn't in my timeline, but they are very juicy, and hopefully they will last a while. The color range is fantastic. So, but when I go to put these back in, watch it be easy for me since I'm on camera. Anyway, you got to kind of shove them in there. You can see they're. They're kind of stressed out here <laughs> being in there. But yeah, they have numbers. It's a number system. And there's 120 of them. So I am super excited to use these. I, I have on a couple of coloring pages that will be in my completed pages for the month. And so yeah, there's the pens, which I will put aside again for now. Okay, so the other supply was the Artistro paint pens. And I watched Sarah Renee Clark's YouTube video on, <clears throat> she purchased a bunch of different white pens to come up with some of the best. And I think she, if my memory serves me well, she had about five top ones. This was one of them. And so I went ahead and got a set of those. There's five in there. And over the pastel uh, pencils that I just showed you, I wrote my name K-R-I-S <laughs> on there. And it looks to be pretty good. I mean, probably two layers on that because that's pretty waxy. So I wouldn't expect it to be bright, bright white. Um, but yeah, they definitely work. And I have used them on a couple of pages. And... They're affordable, so I recommend them. Now, I will say the next haul-related item is this Dunkel Bunt uh, book, which I saw on Color Me Stress Free's uh, YouTube, Debbie's YouTube, and she had recently gotten the other book sent to her by Sarah Richter, and I thought, you know, that looks like my kind of book. And it has great paper in it. So I got this from bookdepository.com. And super thick paper. There are some uh, flip throughs, reviews and whatnot. So I'll just show you a few pages and then show you the one that I, that I started. But yeah, very interesting pages. I started this one. So she's kind of, you know, the movie She-Hulk is coming out. I didn't, I didn't think of that actually at the time. Someone brought it up to me because really she's got some Frankenstein lines. <laughs> but um, I went ahead and started this page based on after I did the swatches of these. And so I have used this color for her face and there's something in there. And then I used, let me think, uh, this, uh, was it this color? Yes, this color for the hair. So that's what I have started on that so far. Um, I also did a little bit of the 
uh, this color here, which is a like a gray, gray black, and started doing the stone background. So she doesn't have any blending uh, colored pencils on her yet. This is just strictly the wash and I have not decided what I want to do on the bow color wise. If you have any suggestions, let me know. This will be in my completed pages for September when I finish it, but she's got here like a ripped shirt. So I'm not totally decided yet on what I want to do there color wise, but I will fill the background, give her some shading and work on her necklace and her bow and all of the little details here. So you get a lot of color payoff with that palette set. So I do recommend it. So yeah, that's this book. A lot of interesting and Halloween-y things. So I just thought that was perfect timing to get this book. And I think I want to retab that for myself. There we go. Okay. And moving on, I did in my last haul or haul before get the matchstick mouse and I started to color a couple of pages in here. I did Tombow markers, dual brush markers, and I have yet to do any shading, but they are super cute. There's going to be glitter, of course. It wouldn't be me if there's not. And so I just wanted to get the color wash on there as well and come back and give some more detail so that she stands out more and that we have more shading. But these are definitely fun to do. So that's those are whips that I'm working on. This is from the Cutie Dolls Genovia Art. I was trying to read that way down here at the bottom. So on this page, this is a whip too, I decided to use some acrylic with a brayer on the background and then pat it kind of to pull it off in some pieces so that I had like a wintry background. I'm going to do a bunch of, you know, snow on here. She already has like a little bit of a metallic pom-pom. This is all glitter gel pens. And I'm not finished with any of this, but I thought that I would show you that I'm doing that and her face. I think that I'm going to wind up doing some pastel and pencil shading because I don't want to put anything here to reactivate the blue. Otherwise, she'll stay blue. <laughs> so this was a lot of fun. I had not used my glitter gel pens in a while, so I thought I would, you know, pull them out and see what's going on. So we'll see how I wind up finishing it. <clears throat> Pardon me. See how I finish it up in the completed pages because that will definitely be one that I show. And getting a little bit of the wintery vibe. So, the other thing that I worked on in my mixed media book, I can get to it, was this. And I may have to zoom out a little bit, which is going to take my lighting off some. To see if I can fit her all in. So yeah, anyway, I started out with some music, um, sheet music, and pasted it to this paper. And then I, over the years, I have created some of my own, how shall I say, like I have soaked tissues and paper, different types of paper and coffee um, and different dyes and whatnot. So that's, you're seeing pieces of that. These were tissue paper and then I used a gold pen around there. And this is actually a stencil, which I'll show you here if I can get it all in. So she's a stencil on here and I wound up, so all of this is raised. I used a textured paste and I have have used gold leaf. I've used watered down acrylic 
I, I have thrown the book at this. There's an awful lot on here that I used and I wound up using some sparkle glue and um, gold metallic pens. But yeah, I enjoyed being able to do something that was non-coloring related just so that I could experiment with different mediums and this is a Stabilo black uh, pencil to give some shadows and things. Um, so yeah, she has some white acrylic specks there in the background just for some detail. So I'll try to show you the gold embellishments here. So yeah, this took several days, I would say up to a week when I was coming back to it. And this, this page, I'm starting to prep to do something on it as well. So I figured I would show that. Hopefully this was entertaining to you for some period of time and I'm uh, going to get back to my scheduled adult coloring and I do have some metallic watercolors coming from Etsy uh, here soon so when that comes in and a couple more books I'll just do individual videos because what happens is I'll try to like accumulate some things and then do a video but I think that winds up making me wait longer. To put out a video and so that's how we wind up here so um, if you're interested in any of these products that I have purchased please let me know I will be happy to give you the link and I hope that you have a fantastic day happy coloring until next time bye bye now